we are ready to begin step number one. Step number one states, apply interfacing to the wrong side of outer fabric, shiny side of interfacing to wrong side of outer fabric. So before we even begin, I'm going to go ahead and give my um, fabric a quick iron. We want to get any of the wrinkles out that you have at this point. So I'm going to set my interfacing off to the side. Um, we do not want to apply our interfacing until our fabric is completely flat um, because if we um, iron it or iron our interfacing to our fabric while there's wrinkles and those wrinkles are going to stay in your fabric. So I'm just going to give my lining a quick iron. You can move it side to side. Just get all those extra wrinkles out for me. Perfect. I'm going to set this off to the side and then I'm going to get my outer fabric. I'm going to go ahead and iron my outer fabric upside down just because my next step, um, we're going to use the wrong side of our fabric. So once again, giving my fabric a quick iron. Once this is flat, we'll be ready to apply our interfacing. So when we apply our interfacing, we need to press our fabric and not iron our fabric. So it's important not to move our iron side to side when applying our interfacing. Now, just like we've done interfacing before, the shiny side of our fabric needs to go face down to the wrong side of our outer fabric. We need it to be the exact size or just a little bit smaller. Um, you do not want any interfacing hanging off the edge. So right here, I actually have a little bit of overhang. So I'm going to go ahead and trim my interfacing off. Making sure not to cut my fabric. Okay, once again, I no longer see the shiny side of my interfacing and it's on the wrong side of my outer. Now, as a reminder, anytime we use interfacing, we need to make sure that we use a pressing cloth. So we have tea towels that we use as pressing cloths. Um, they're dirty because sometimes people iron their interfacing the wrong way. I'm gonna get nice and flat and then we're ready to start um, adhering or um, adding heat to adhere my interfacing to my outer fabric. I'm gonna press and hold about five seconds at a time. Um, this part does take a little bit of time. So I probably won't show the whole process, um, but we do want to keep ironing until our interfacing is fully adhered. Um, once your interfacing is fully adhered or and it sticks to your outer fabric, you are ready to move on to step number two.